Hi everyone, I'm Alex aka LittleJerryFan92 and as you all know I did post a little status update that I'm officially retiring from uploading anything Sesame Street related on my channel um, and there actually is a good reason to that. Um, before I get into any more details regarding this, um, as I said in my previous video, um, I don't own the legal rights to Sesame Street. Um, that completely belongs to HBO and Sesame Workshop themselves. I am not entitled to uploading clips, nor do I feel entitled to uploading them. Um, this has just been a fun hobby of mine that I've been doing since I was 14 years old, all the way back in 2007. Oh man, 16 years now. Time really does fly by. Um, so, as I explained in my previous video, um, as we all know, um, back in September 2019, YouTube was under a lot of fire for the fact that Children were being exposed to content on YouTube that they shouldn't be watching in the first place. Um, and because of that, YouTube basically forced the creators to start identifying their videos as made for kids or not made for kids. You know, instead of just putting on their big boy pants and owning up to the fact that, wow, we really messed up big time. Um, so when Coppa first originally came out in January 2020, um, a lot of videos that could pass off as being children friendly um if they had stuff like animation puppets or trains or whatever it may be um were immediately marked as not for kids um if the original uploader didn't otherwise set their videos that way um and as you all know i originally had my videos set as not for kids because I do enjoy hearing people commenting on my videos saying that they liked seeing these segments from their childhoods and it just really made me happy hearing that I brought back a lot of nostalgia for people. Um, and in the end, like, while yes, Sesame Street is obviously a kid's show, um, my uploads are not otherwise intended directly towards um, children, you know, they were meant for adults and teenagers who enjoyed watching the show when they were kids and liked seeing these segments again. Um, but as time went on, like, starting around 2021, the summer, um, I did start getting a couple of my videos being marked as for kids, um, from YouTube. And, like, it was very few and far between. Like, it was only, like, one video that happened in July 2021, um, but then a couple more of my videos were starting to be marked as for kids um, in December, I believe. But then in 2022, um, just more and more of my Sesame Street uploads were being marked as for kids. And it really just got to the point where by the end of 2021, uh, 2022, excuse me, um, half of my videos were marked as for kids. Um, without my consent, like literally without being notified by YouTube. And it started get to the, getting to the point where um, when I would upload a new Sesame Street video on my channel, um, it would be marked as for kids like about five days, like four to five days after it was posted. But now it's gotten to the point where if I upload anything Sesame Street related immediately, it'll just be immediately set as for kids. Regardless if I actually said it that way or not. Um, and now it's gotten to the point where half of my Nightcore videos, solely just because they have a picture of a Sesame Street segment, um, have been automatically marked as for kids by YouTube. But what really set the fire for me um, was the fact that I recently just discovered that um, one of my top 10 favorite Sesame Street moments series videos. Well, okay, I only have two right now, but the second one was recently marked as for kids. Um, and that really just broke the camel's back for me. Um, because that was a video where I'm literally providing my own voiceovers in the video. And yeah, obviously there is um, Sesame Street clips being used as B-roll um, in the video, but I mean, just simple B-roll, I don't think that should be, like, a good reason to mark, um, the videos as for kids. Because it's, like, 90% of the time in the video, um, you know, like, the actual audio isn't even playing. Like, it's mostly my voice I hear in the video. And the fact that it was marked as for kids just really set me off. Now, that being said, I was able to, um, 
appeal this um to YouTube and surprisingly they actually listened to me. Um but when it was first appealed and um the made for kids BS was taken off, um all of my comments were gone and that really just made me even more angry. Um that being said, the comments have since been restored. But what really infuriates me is the possible chance that's like more of my um Sesame Street videos, like my scary Sesame Street moment series videos, um will be marked as for kids and there's a possible good chance I might not even be so lucky next time um if I try to appeal. I really feel like I was lucky at all um that YouTube actually listened to me with this. And I also tried appealing one of my Nightcore videos and this is just a good example of where YouTube is just so set in their ways with their stupid robots um, running the website that they didn't listen to the fact that I appealed um, one of my Nightcore videos being marked as for kids. Um, and they just denied it simply because of the picture being used. Um, and honestly, like, the way YouTube is just continually being run now, it really has just, like sucked all of my patience out of me. Um, it's a really frustrating feeling that, like, I can't even upload a single Sesame Street clip now, um, without the possibility that YouTube is just gonna immediately set it as for kids, regardless of how I actually personally set it up, um, when uploading these clips on my YouTube channel. Um, it's like, what's the point of even marking something as for kids or not for kids if YouTube is just gonna do it for you anyway? Um, and what I initially noticed was, um, this in particular was really happening with quote-unquote popular channels, like ones that, um, have a lot of subscribers and get a lot of attention. Um, but what I've been noticing recently is it seems like now, um, just about every channel that has Sesame Street content being uploaded, um, from different channels are now being marked as for kids. Um, regardless of how popular they actually are or not. Um, and to be honest, like, again, I really just hate the way YouTube is being run now. It's like, we really have reached a point where we've gone from an awesome website that looked like this to a website that's now like this. Where half the time it's just a bunch of cringy shorts being uploaded with stupid captions. Um, a bunch of really cheap reaction videos and just nothing more than talking head videos it's like that's basically what youtube has become now um and if anything else like the website really just continues to age like milk um as time goes on i mean as i said in my previous video the new ceo we have now um neil mohan han whatever his last name is um he supports nfts like, yeah, great job, YouTube. You really hired a guy that supports NFTs. Like, this really just shows how bogusly run your website is nowadays. Um, and again, like, this goes back to what I was also saying before in my pre previous video. Um, I feel like this world is just so biasly, um, just so biasly viewed towards children. Um, Again, yeah, Sesame Street is a kid's show. I get that. It is marked for, um, marketed towards children. But that being said, at the end of the day, I'm not responsible for who personally watches my videos. Like, obviously, yeah, you know, kids are probably going to watch my Sesame Street content, but that's not who I'm personally targeting my videos for. I'm targeting for teenagers and adults who enjoyed watching these shows when they were kids. Um, and again, if they personally choose to watch it well that's not something i'm responsible for i'm only responsible for what i personally choose to upload and again it just feels like a lot of parents nowadays just let their kids do whatever the heck they want on the internet and it's like they don't take in cons into consideration that you know there are a lot of internet creeps on going on the internet um there's a lot of inappropriate content um that's surfacing on youtube that kids shouldn't be watching in the first place but again, it's like technology has just become the babysitter nowadays and these parents just don't do their homework when it comes to raising kids. Again, I speak as someone who was given a lot of discipline when I was growing up. Um, 
So, you know, that being said, I really don't know what I'm going to do at this point. Um, I am possibly considering um, uploading future Nightcore videos possibly on another channel and other potential um, character compilation videos on another channel and same thing with um, segments that were um, remade later on like you know Ernie and Bert's TV just flashing a letter um, repeatedly and then they take um, objects that relate to that letter out of the TV um, and I still do want to continue my top 10 Sesame Street moment series videos um, but that being said they're definitely not going to be uploaded on this channel anymore and the same thing also goes with um, the videos I want to make for Little Jerry and Little Chrissy as um, evolution videos um, that I have made previously for another channel that I do want to honestly update because they're really outdated now. Um, but again, none of these videos are going to be going on my channel. Um, I have another channel I'm currently making, um, not making, I currently have where I'm uploading episodes of Mystery Science Theater 3000 from my personal tape collection that a good friend of mine has recently been capturing for me. Um, I'm thinking I may just dump future Sesame Street videos on those on that channel. Um, but that being said, um, as far as just individual street or segment uploads, no, I'm officially done uploading that, those now. Because honestly, that's what my original channel was designed for, to upload these. But again, it's like the fact that they're just immediately being marked as for kids now. Um, it's really sucking the fun away from it. Um, so otherwise, at this point, um, I'm officially putting this channel to rest. This really wasn't an easy decision for me. Um, but otherwise, like... I'm just officially moving on at this point because once again, YouTube is just continually aging like milk and we really have just reached this point now where, you know, YouTube has just been reduced to nothing but cheesy shorts and stupid reaction videos and talking heads videos um, with a guy who completely supports NFTs. And I only imagine NFT videos are going to be very popular on YouTube later on. So... That being said, to everyone who has watched my channel grow over the years um, and has been very supportive of what I upload, I do, from the bottom of my heart, want to say thank you. Um, again, this was a very tough decision, but at the end of the day, this is just how I'm honestly feeling now with um, what YouTube has been doing to my channel and just what the website has become now. Um... You know, like, I really have done a lot of growing up as well over the years. Like, I really started off as a very immature teenager to a grown adult, you know, finally in his 30s, um, who really has, like, changed a lot as time went on. Um, so, you know, at this point, this is going to be my final upload. Um, and at this point, my channel is just going to be rotting away. Um... Some people have been concerned if I'm going to be deleting my channel, and the answer to that is no, I will not be deleting this channel. Um, I've uploaded too many videos to let those go to waste, but otherwise, like, at this point, this channel is just going to be rotting with um, future existing uploads still being able to be watched on my channel, but that's about it from there. So until next time, it's been real, and again, I don't own the legal rights to the show. Um, I'm not entitled to uploading these clips, nor do I feel entitled to uploading them. Um, this has just always been a very fun hobby of mine since I was a young teenager. So until then, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's watched my channel and been a subscriber and has um, shown respect to my boundaries and limits regarding um, what I upload. And... I will see you all hopefully on another channel. Um, if I do choose to continue uploading more clips um, on another channel of mine. But until then, it's been real. And I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you may be watching this video. And peace out.